Hey guys, so I've been trying out some arena strats and after playing like three arena games in a row, um, all of which, if I remember correctly, I may have won one, but I lost several arena games and it's because I was trying out a strat and it just wasn't working out. Need some more tweaks. Anyway, well, I got runestones, which is basically Arabia. I didn't want runestones. And so I figured why not go all in Lith Drush and some laming and just see what we can do. So I sent my scout forward. Already got two sheep right off the bat. Almost got that sheep there. And two more sheep. So with the Lith Drush, you want to prioritize getting your barracks up first and one house and then chop some more wood, get 25 wood, and build a second house. Then get you however many militia you want to go for, which I went for, I believe, four. Collect a little bit of gold here. Um, and then harass with the militia. So he actually did recover one sheep. There's two militia so far. Three. M4. So, there we go. Um, and like I said, I'm playing as Lithuanians, and he is playing as the Bohemians. Arms G90 from Canada, aka Salty Tears. And the reason I'm calling Salty Tears is because, oh boy, he was butthurt at the end of this game. <laughs> I'll read you what he said. He was, he was not too happy. So anyway, he lost three of his sheep. And I saw this boar here and was actually thinking about sending a builder for when I saw that getting lured in. So I got my militia coming over here and my scout over here. So I see the other one. So I'm like, you know what? Uh, at some point, I will send a villager forward. One of these will at some point. And I'm going to try and wall in my villager and just kill the boar, right? Well, unfortunately for me, I'll keep yawning, I'm sorry. Um, unfortunately for me, there's my villager. I am just a little bit too late to stop this boar. But I am getting some good hits on these villagers at the wood line. They do not have loom. Uh, typically players do not prioritize loom that quickly and uh, are in a, a little bit of a surprise. Um, he does have four more villagers than I do, but uh, you know, forcing idle time is always great. And here comes my villager. My thought is, there's no way he's gonna try and lure this boar while I have four militia here, right? No, he. that's exactly what he's gonna do. He's gonna lure it right past me and see I was trying to wall my villager in and that villager is almost dead four hit points Woo -wee. barely saves it so now I have a forward villager and I can't get either boar so I figured you know what what counters militia archers what do you need for archers gold Let's take away his access to gold. So pressuring this wood line, these two villagers are stuck like Chuck. They ain't doing nothing. And these two villagers are about to get clubbed to death once they get through this palisade wall. So he has a three villager lead, but uh, really, I don't know why it's not showing these two as idle. Maybe because they're queued up to do something, but those villagers are idle. They're not doing anything. And he has to keep repairing this palisade wall as well. And he doesn't have access to his deer. He lost three sheep. And so all his boars are collected. The villagers going down. Two villagers down. So he has 18 villagers. I have 16. He doesn't have a whole lot of access to food. Getting my last couple sheep over here. Um, 
And I'm kind of surprised he didn't want to react and shoot my militia. Initially, I was just going to shoot these and kill them. Then I was like, you know what? It's a whole lot of extra food. Getting this boar here. And villager counts 18 to 18. I do believe he goes up on 18. Yeah, he did. So, technically, he went up on like 20 pop because he lost two. But, uh, he lost two and he has two villagers that are sitting in that wood line doing nothing. They are absolutely paralyzed. So he's having to chop these straggler trees, which is even more inefficient. And now he's having to wall off his berries on top of his wood line and just... Mm. It was a very effective drush and I was very pleased with the results. Now, could I have done a little bit more probably pressuring? Absolutely. But, uh, you know, I'm not perfect. Looking here, trying to make an impact. And he had to come all the way over here and build a second lumber camp just to get wood. And then delete these palisades so these guys would finally start working again. So, 22 to 18 villagers right now. He does... He is in um, feudal and I am not. Sending more villagers forward. I want to continue to lame um, the resources. Uh, prevent him from making towers. Prevent him from getting gold. I have my scout here so I did see him at some point. I see him uh, mining gold. And here comes his barracks, soon to be followed by an archery range. So yeah, collecting a little bit of this food here, because why not? And sending these vill villagers forward, because I know he's on this gold here now. And I want to prevent him from having access to it. So we got to kill this wolf real quick. We'll drop a palisade gate. And a tower to force him off of gold. And so you might say, well, there's still other golds. Okay. Every single time you force him off of a resource, he has to build a new mining camp, a new lumber camp, etc., etc. And I'm going to keep trying to wall in the gold. I don't want him have a, having access to gold or stone. And, you know, Idle Villager here had to repair the wall several times. I'm happy with the value that I got out of these, these militia. Villager count 26 to 25. 26 to 26. So we're neck and neck now on villager count. But I had a lot more resources available to me. And I haven't had to build a lot of uh, new things, really. I did have to invest into the Palisades, though, to wall up the resources. Forced them off of gold here. Walling this over here. Walled this off over here. So... Really... I think the only stone he has access to is right here. And there's a three tile gold over here. And he's trying to desperately get into his main gold over here. Unfortunately for him, I am getting another tower up. Which he cannot see. I did kill an archer or two, but uh, he's doing hit and run tactics now. And the tower's up. And a partial house foundation in front of it. So that way, uh, he is forced to either lose villagers or go to castle and then try and get a ram out and access his gold. He did do some good scouting over here, and he sees there's gold over there, so that was very fortunate for him. And villager count 
It's such a rough start prioritizing the drush immediately. Um, so trying to rebalance your economy after that. And also I am going heavy on stone. Um, I did not intentionally mean to go that heavy on stone. I just wanted to have enough to keep doing some follow-up uh, towers. However, having that much stone ended up working out, as you'll see, once I hit Castle Age. 32 to 34. And he will go for Wheelbarrow, actually. And then now he's on his way to Castle. 34 to 37. Not a whole lot going on, so we're speeding it up. And he is in Castle Age. Immediately drops a TC here. Gets a crossbow upgrade. And another TC over here, so th triple TC. Forget the, the pressure, forget the fact that I've been putting all this early military on him. He's got three TCs and a ram. It's good to go. Trying to garrison his crossbow inside of a ram. I'm finally in castle, thank goodness. And 43 to 43. Still on one TC for now. We'll add more TCs in later. And this tower will go down. But he's having to do quite a bit of an investment to make it happen. So here's my castle going up over here, forcing him off a stone, attacking this TC. Had enough knights to get some villager picks and force things away from my castle to protect it. KD is strongly in my favor so far. And Red really, Red really wants to get this castle up. And he also wants to reclaim this main gold. Villager count after the kills, despite me being on one TC, is actually in my favor. Three. Uh, added a second town center over here, actually. So now it's two town centers versus three. But a lot of his farms are vacant and not uh, being worked by anyone. And sending these villagers here to build a forward TC. <laughs> Being chased by a wolf. And this beautiful Bohemian castle is up. This town center is very close to going down. And I'm healing up my knights inside of this castle. Going to eject the knights and take out that ram real quick. And I wanted to grab a couple of relics, but uh, it wasn't like super duper important. I still felt pretty good about finishing this game off relatively fast. Getting some rams up here. Hindsight probably should have prioritized getting to imp a little bit faster and screw the rams. Because he ended up having priests, which then made conversions, which then my converted knights were taking out my rams. Very unfortunate. Losing knights left and right. Three knights, four knights converted. Unfortunately for me. This castle hanging on by a thread. And he actually sent uh, archers crossbows forward. 
We'll shoot my poor scout that was scouting over here. And I decided to respond with a defensive ta uh, castle back home. And really trying to balance out my economy as well. Don't need as many on stone. And he's walking right into this castle fire. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. So what I like the most about this castle here is that it denies him access to a stone. So really, the only stone he has is over here, and I got two knights over here. It's really just a stranglehold on this player, Arms G90. And I don't like these guys just sitting here pressuring in front of my base. I'm going to get a siege workshop up, and we're going to take it out. <laughs> that Maganub coming in clutch for taking out these crossbows. And here comes a castle over here. It's way too late. Forcing main gold. And he didn't change his uh, waypoint, so quite a few units just keep walking right into it. It is just an absolute massacre. Fine by me, though. And he keeps sending more over here. Adding in farms as well. And now I'm going to... I did get the hill fort technology, which you get increased 3 plus range on your team. So I figured this could be a defensive building, and I can get access to gold right now as well. And we're kind of here waiting for one player or the other to hit imp first. And will be an imp first. 70% of the way there. So, even though I have relics, Lithuanians get the stronger knight. I figured I want some light cap to SARS as well. That way they can deal with the potential monks. And arms G9 Imperial Age. I had already got the last few resources I need needed. Um seven forty of stables as well. Keep my production up as high as possible. It's not looking too hot. When you're hot, you're hot. You're not. And oof. Just having him set to this gold, it's hilarious. First treb is out. We'll take the little castle, unfortunately. That's fine. I've got a castle here. Back home, that will be uh, research conscription as soon as should be. Imp. So he's going and But it has two trebuchets, a castle, real quick, if fast, can do anything about it. So, but that's fine. 
my villagers different things to keep uh Krebs, as well as a decent cavalry unit on the northwest. One trebuchet goes. Plus. I've got light calf. Let's actually do clean up my armor. Don't have full upgrades yet. But I Trev's coming forward. Well, it keeps dropping. 73, 74. 107. I want them to do. And another. I'm sure you hear this all the time. And then I don't know what. He says, You're a gigantic. Well, it was a gigantic tool, too. Maybe a Makita. Not too big on the so Something useful. Want and desire, right? <laughs> After the game ended, what he had to say. Uh, yeah, you're a. I said, it's censored. And I said, why salty? Just a lift rush. He goes, LOL, and a giant lame. I told him he played well, and I just played a little bit better. And he's like, no. I said, it's just part of the game. He's like, you lamed me. And I said, and? This isn't a tournament. He's like, exactly. So why are you laming? I said, because it's not a tournament, and it's not against the rules. Do you not watch the pros at all? He said, only one in 25 people lame. Listen, guys. About 86% of all stats are made up on the spot, including this one. <laughs> I said, not really. He said, you are one of them. I laughed. He said, don't expect to not get smack talked. I said, hey, I'm a nice guy. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. I'm just part of the game. The modern human. That's not nice. I like lamers are dirtbag. I actually had no intention. Originally, I just wanted to um, bore, but that was about it. That's when I didn't get either bore, and I accidentally got a sheep. You know, I was like, well, deny his resource. It worked out really. Um. Anyway, to be cordial about it to him, he wasn't having it. Just an old-fashioned non the same way. Anyway, guys, 